William Cyril des Remots. And this, my friends, is happy time. I want to speak to you about languages. You know that I love languages and and I was thinking what could I say in one the next happy time and I think one of the things that I really love, I really, really, really love is speak languages. I mean you can tell I'm doing this happy time in five languages. Why do I do that? Because I just like to speak them. I think languages, my friends, is so great. It's like it's like every time you meet a foreigner, you're more interested. You want to learn more about what he does. You you communicate just better, you know. Let's say, okay, let's take two, two different situations. Um, first one, you decide now you like French or you like Spanish. Let's say you like French, of course. And you like France and, you know, it's just interesting to learn the language. So you start now. The second situation, you like it, but you don't start. Okay? You don't start now. You don't start. In the first situation, two years from now, uh, you meet a French guy. Let's say you like you you meet me. <laughs> hey, Cyril, you're French. Yeah, I'm French. And next thing you know, I tell you about France, and you're more excited. You want to go there on vacation. And next thing you know, you get better in French. You go there. You like it. You want to go back. Next thing you know, maybe two years later, you speak pretty good French, and you start. Um, you know, really wanted to work in with French people. Next thing you know, your boss knows that you speak French. He sends you to France on a business trip, and uh, maybe you even get a, a promotion because uh, you have to uh, work with French people, which is very hard. <laughs> and next thing you know, you move there and you you fall in love with a French woman <laughs> or a French man. And next thing you know, your kids are bilingual. <laughs> Oh, that's a pretty good situation, don't you think? It could be the same for Spanish. You learn Spanish two years later, your boss or, you know, they send you on, on a trip to um, South America. I don't know, you go to Argentina and next thing you know, then uh, you love it and you want to travel more and you have all those countries in South America that uh, all speak Spanish. Wow, cool. Next thing you know, you get a promotion and you're responsible for all South America. Wow, next thing you know, you love tango and you want to learn more. So you go to Argentina, you do a crash course and you learn tango. Okay, that's the first situation. Second situation, you, you say, you know, I like I like French, but you know, you're stuck in all the things and you don't learn it. Two years later, you meet Cyril, the French guy, and say, hey, you're French. Oh, you know, I love France. I, I wish I could go, but you know I don't speak French, and you know I, had, I almost started, but I didn't. I didn't, and uh, and then that's it. Next thing you know, you're the same guy. You still don't speak French, but the good thing is you can start now. All right, learn languages, my friends. It's it's the future. It's it's a, it's not the future. It's the present. You have to speak several languages for Americans I would say Spanish first and then another language whether it be Chinese or French or or I would I, I, don't, I want to say German but you know German they speak very good English so I would say I don't know Italian if you like Italy but Spain first you got to speak the languages you got to it's like three languages is mandatory right now mandatory hello hi